In this lesson, we are going to talk about center of gravity. Our learning outcome is to show understanding that the weight of the body may be taken as acting as a single point known as the center of gravity. So how do we uh, arrive at this point of center of gravity? Um, from turning moments, okay, we know that uh, when the lever doesn't have any external force acting on it, um, it actually does balance. But why does it balance when the pivot is placed near the center? Or the, the other question to ask is that why doesn't it not balance if you place the pivot right at the side? So if you place it at the side, you find that the, there's no way that you can actually balance the pivot and it is, will actually rotate this way. Or when you place your pivot over to the, this side, you will, the pivot will rotate this way. It is because the lever itself actually also has weight and force. And in fact, each small part of the ruler actually exerts its own weight. So if you place right uh, support right at the center, what will happen is that the weight, each weight will actually create a small turning moment where when you use a pivot to support the lever. So this one will create a uh, anti-clockwise moment and this one will actually create a clockwise moment. And you find that each one, each one will actually create its own uh, turning moments and this one will create its own turning moment. So of course, obviously you see that if you place it right center, each one will be balanced by an opposite uh, turning moment. So, but of course we are assuming that the weight of the lever is equally distributed. Uh, then the anti-clockwise moment is actually the same as the clockwise moments created. So the lever is balanced. However, uh, if you place the uh, lever, uh, the pivot at the sides, and the weight is actually equally distributed, um, you see that the anti-clockwise moments will not be equal to the clockwise moments because there is a uh, less anti-clockwise moment as compared to the clockwise moment. There are so many anti-clockwise uh, moments, so you find that, of course, in this case, the lever must turn and rotate. And if you place, it, place your pivot over here, you have to, the whole thing will actually has to turn clockwise. So um, for an equally distributed uh, or uniform, okay, the keyword is uniform. The idea that uniform is actually, what do you mean by is the weight is actually equally distributed. By placing a pivot support uh, right at the center, the lever will be balanced, okay, as illustrated. And we know that uh, since the lever doesn't move up or down, it means, must mean that the upward force, upward support force, provided by the pivot must be equal to all the downward force. Okay, what it means is that if you add up all the forces over here, okay, you find that the, uh, the EO should be equal to an upward force, as indicated by this arrow. So, however, to draw such a free body diagram is definitely tedious. Mm, so, to simplify the free body diagram, we can add up all the weights of the liver Okay, so we can actually add up all this. Okay, and if you add them up, okay, you can make them disappear. And you represent it by just a single weight force at the support point downwards. So this will actually help us indicate that the lever uh, is sufficiently supported by this uh, normal force and it will not go up or down. In this representation, it's as if that the sides over here has no longer has any weight and all the weights are all concentrated right at the center at this particular point. So all the weight is represented by a single weight force at this support point and this support point where the weight axis is known as the uh, center of gravity or CG. But however, um, if the support point is shifted to the side, the normal force will actually follow this support the weight will still be at the center of gravity. Okay, one point to take note of is that the center of gravity doesn't follow the support point, even though uh, for convenience sake, we we'll just say that it's at the support point, but actually there's this special point is where the weight, act, weight of the lever actually acts, and this point is called center of gravity. So if you look at this situation, the lever will rotate clockwise because due to the weight force that would generate a uh, turning moment because the pivot is over here. So if you have a weight that is acting down, you will create a anti-clockwise, uh, sorry, clockwise moment that will actually rotate the lever. 
uh, to summarize what is center of gravity, the definition is that the center of gravity is of an object is the point where the whole weight of the object seems to act. Okay, I had this word seems is because of course we know that the actual situation is that there's actually many many small force weight force that's on the ruler, but we represent it by um, say that there's the center of gravity and the weight is just uh, one whole line, and all objects have center of gravity. And if the object is uniform in terms of weight, uh, shape, and weight distribution, the center of gravity of the object would be right at the center. But of course, the next question is: What if the object is not uniform? Where would its center of gravity be? Okay, I'll use this uh, broom to illustrate. How will you balance the broom? So this is uh, so-called the center of the broom. Would the pivot be at the center of the broom? Or will it be at the left side of the room, so somewhere maybe on the left side, or somewhere on the right side? Okay, take a moment to think about it. If you want to balance this room, you find that most likely you will balance the room by uh, on the left side. Okay, what do I mean by this? It means something like that. So this is the room. So this is somewhere in the center. You find that you need to balance. Uh, your point of support will need to be on the left side of the room. You can find the support point where you look, uh, can balance object. The center of the gravity is right above or below the support point, which means that if you are able to balance over here, your CG will be somewhere uh, along this line. Okay, so for this object, okay, maybe it's over here. In this case, you can say that CG is nearer to the left. And or another way to look at it, you find the general pattern that is the center of gravity would be ten, tend to be near where majority of the weight of the object is concentrated. So you find that the if you look at the entire broom, you find that the majority of the weight of the uh, broom is over here at this side where there's a lot of stuff over here. Okay, so you find that CG instead of in the center is actually instead of center it actually shifts towards the left where majority of the weight is concentrated. So why is that so? If we take the case that if the pivot is in the center of the boom, okay, you find that you will not balance because anti-clockwise movement for this case is bigger than the clockwise movement. Uh, the boom is not balanced. It's because the anti-clockwise force is much larger than the clockwise force. Since we talk about the majority of the weight is concentrated over on the left side, so the weight force is actually over here. But the weight force for this section is uh, just only a small part. Okay, so this is bigger, this is smaller. So even if their distance is roughly the same, you find that the weight for this one uh, will uh, overpower the uh, small one. If we shift the pivot nearer to the heavier side of the broom, uh, what will happen is that though the anti-clockwise force, force is still larger than the clockwise force, but this time round you find that the perpendicular distance uh, due to the shifting of the pivot has grown smaller and likewise the clockwise perpendicular distance become bigger. Okay, as we have uh, remembered the moment is actually force times distance. So you find that the distance for this one has grown larger, the force for this one the distance has grown smaller. So what will happen is that the anti-clockwise moment is actually uh, equal to the clockwise moment. There will be a point where if you shift this uh, pivot sufficiently enough um, and the clockwise moment will be equal to clockwise moments and the broom will be balanced. How do we represent weight force in general? Uh, C since CG is the entire weight where uh, of the body seems to act, the weight force should be just an arrow drawn starting from the CG and downwards. So if the CG is marked as the X over here, okay mark X over here, we can find that the weight force you just draw it down. Even if you rotate the object, okay, the CG of the object for a fixed object would follow and the weight would just be just go straight down. And uh, for irregular object, if you know where the CG is, you just draw the weight going down. Okay, so please don't if you it's known that the CG is here, please don't draw the weight uh, right at the center of the irregular shape object because that will be incorrect. Um, but technically the direction should be towards the center of the earth. So in summary, 
center of gravity of an object is a point where the whole weight of the object seems to act. All objects have center of gravity. And center of gravity tend to be near where most of the weight is uh, of the object is at. And the weight of the object is drawn starting from the center of gravity and acting downwards. That's all for today. Please subscribe and support my channel. For my other physics video lesson arranged according to topics, please visit my blog at boringphysicsteachers.wordpress.com. You can subscribe to my channel to be informed when I upload new physics video lessons. Thank you.